Hi everyone, this is Dr. Mike, host of the free iTunes podcast, Psychiatric Secrets Reveal with Dr. Mike, but that's not why I'm here today. And I hope I don't have oatmeal in my teeth, because I just had a big bowl of oatmeal. So um, hopefully I'm okay. Um, anyway, I thought I'd do a very quick little video on this announcement that Nikon just had, which is the announcement of their mirrorless full-frame camera. And it's a, it's a significant announcement because it confirms one of the worst kept secrets out there, which is that Nikon is producing a mirrorless camera, that it is going to be full frame, um, and that it's probably going to have a new mount. Now they did include some other important information, and they said, for instance, that they would have an adapter that would make it compatible with many of the Nikon lenses that currently exist. What does that mean? Of course, we don't have any data on that, but what it probably suggests to me is that lenses, some of the older lenses, which relied on the camera's focusing motor, those will not work, certainly, because it's unlikely they're going to put a focusing motor into an adapter, and they're certainly not going to put a focusing motor into a mirrorless camera. So those might not work, and maybe some older lenses might not work. But I think this was a very necessary step. Clearly, they had to, clearly they had to develop a new lens mount uh, that was more modern and up-to-date. They had a little bit wider opening and, and a little shorter uh, flange distance, uh, and that was coming. But to make it hopefully fairly seamlessly compatible with the old lenses will get people to stay in the Nikon camp because Nikon has great glass and a lot of us have a huge investment in that glass. In fact, I certainly probably have a greater investment in glass than I do in cameras. So I'm sure many uh, professionals are, are very similar. So that's a very, very important thing. And it also allows Nikon to offer a camera that's going to have a full range of capabilities without having all the glass for that camera camera immediately available. So why is it taking them so long? Well, I'm guessing because they have to work out some of the tweaks. And one of the tweaks, of course, is the focusing system. So a great reason to continue to go with the DSLR when you're taking still pictures is that DSLRs just have fantastic focusing systems, especially the upper level DSLRs. Now, of course, companies like Sony, are, their, their focusing system is ever improving. You have companies like Canon, which of course produces DSLRs, but they also have their dual pixel autofocusing, which is great for video too. They're developing that. So Nikon's going to have to come up with something that that's either going to be better than those systems or at least as good, but preferably better. And if they come out with a camera that has an as good or better focusing system, and then with that wide range of already available lenses, I think people will stay in the Nikon camp. Well, now you're probably saying, well, what about things like uh, ISO performance and dynamic range? But what we all know is that that technology already exists and they already are getting their sensors typically from Sony. So they, they have these great sensors. They have the, the software in their processing chip to develop a great picture. So that's already that's already done. That's They don't need to wor wor worry about that too much. What they need to worry about is their focusing system and then having a body that offers something unique or better. Now, how what kind of range? Well, just you're probably gonna get a typical 24 or 20 megapixel uh, sensor and then one that's a higher sensor of 40 or, or whatever. So just like we would expect. And that's not gonna be too shocking for most people. So I'm very excited about this announcement. Will I jump on the bandwagon? Mm, I don't think so right now because I already have a lot of cameras that are perfectly good and adequate. And I do have some Sony mirrorless cameras that I could use if I need to. So I don't think I'll be jumping on it, but it's a, it's a great relief to know that Nikon is addressing the mirrorless issue, which of course will be the future of cameras. Now they say that they're going to support the DSLRs and that this will remain like a dual product line. What they didn't include was the next sentence was, as long as that line is profitable, right? So if there's, obviously they don't want to abandon that market and they don't want people to run away from that market now, but I guarantee to you that if, if that market represents 10% of their sales or 20% of their sales and everyone else is buying their mirrorless cameras, we're gonna see that camera go away just like the Nikon one went away because that's just business. But for now, all is good. And if you have those lenses and I'm sure the flash accessories and other things will work too, well, it's a compelling reason to stay with Nikon. So those are my thoughts. You may have different thoughts. You might want to enter them below. If they're thoughtful and uh, reasonable, please do. If they're asinine, please 
don't because no one wants to hear them and you're kind of making yourself look like an ass. Um, so don't do that. Or if you want to do that, I guess you can. Uh, if you like this video, did I say give a thumbs up? If you want to subscribe, subscribe. I, don't, I think I said both those things. Uh, also, I have a writing blog that you might find interesting. It's called drmikekuna.com, D-R-M-I-K-E-K-U-N-A.com. It looks at my perils going through early retirement and trying to reformat my life. Um, I also have a podcast that I do with my wife. I'm a board certified psychiatrist, so I'm an MD. She's a PhD level psychologist. And we, it's called Saving, no, it's, it's called uh, Psychiatric Secrets Revealed. You can find it on uh, iTunes and other places. And it's just a podcast where we talk about a variety of things from current events to psychological issues to raising kids to you name it. Well, with that, I'll say bye, everyone.